Hi, I'm Corey Rich. In this segment, we're gonna shoot a landscape photograph and a time lapse simultaneously. The goal is going to be have a glowing tent in the foreground and stars moving across the sky. The beauty of shooting time lapse is that at the end, we get a video clip as well as a high resolution still photograph that we can print and hang on our wall. I've learned the hard way that it always makes sense to try to set up your night time lapse in the daylight so that you're not fumbling. I try to be really methodical and go through a step-by-step -step process before I shoot a time lapse. I think in terms of a still photograph first, what is a compelling composition? I then lock the camera off on a tripod knowing full well that we're going to be shooting individual still photographs in a raw file format which eventually will become a time-lapse sequence. I want the ability to go in and really manipulate each of the individual images. What I've learned over time is that we need to make certain that you're setting the intervalometer duration greater than your exposure. In this case, we're going to set it for 45 seconds because we're doing a 30-second exposure. We're going to be wide open on a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens, and we're probably going to be in that 800 ISO to 1600 ISO range, which on the Nikon D800 looks fantastic, whether printed or in a video clip. So I'm going to use this LED. It's an adjustable LED, and it's daylight balanced. So the beauty is I can put an enormous amount of light into the tent or very little. And what I've learned in doing time lapses is you need very little light inside of the tent because the reality is we're doing a 30 second exposure. Okay, so I'm switching the camera into manual focus. I do it on the body and on the lens just to be safe. Let me check my exposure. We're set at 800 ISO, 30 seconds, and f1.4. We have a fresh battery. We're in raw and we are ready for business. So we're gonna say on, which is okay. The best part about shooting time lapses is that once the camera is set up correctly, you have the exposure correct, and you hear that shutter releasing, your only job is to crawl into your warm sleeping bag and allow the camera to do the job for you. See you in the morning.